Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified. So today we'll see about the comments in C# tutorial. So comments are basically uh, whenever you want to explain something about a particular variable or particular class or particular thing. So generally we want to add the comments, right? And what we want that comments should not be executed. So comments are basically to explain something. Let's say if I have this state variable here. Now if I want to explain something about it, so I need to I need to write something so I can say that what is this state so I can say that let's say it's a state of a it's a state of a country so we can say uh, it mention it mention the it mention the state state ID or state number state number of a country right or whatever it is whatever this state signify basically if you want to explain that so it means we want to write something so that people whoever is viewing the code get to know okay what is the state means right so in this case we want to put something like that so that it should not execute like whenever we are building this application it should not execute this line so how we can do that whenever you want to make the comment the one way is that we want to basically add this double slash line and then it won't execute this particular line let's say again uh, i can have something like this also let's say a equals to a plus three now if you see it is not giving any error because this is this is just a uh, comment right it won't execute this line now this was for the single line that if i want to comment the single line then i can do like this one but if i want to comment the multiple lines so either the one way is let's say this one so either i will comment like this that if i want to comment of this one i don't want to execute this one but there is one better approach as well because let's say if I have seven or eight lines that I want to comment out. So this is not an ideal approach if you are adding just this one, right? So better approach is that you can just mention this one. So it will basically this block will start here and then wherever you want to end this comment, just add this one. So now you can see that we are seeing the comment basically started from here and then it basically end here. So from here to here, our system won't execute this particular lines right so this was all about the comments in the c sharp that we can use so we add we add the comment this one if i want to add the comment of single line or if i want to execute the comment for all blocks so we add like this right so that's all about this video in case if you have any doubts so please write in the comment section i will try to explain that and please subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you